and we're back. What's up, everybody? Hey, Bacon Copter. What's up to you, too? We made it. I feel like I was just here because I kind of was. Hey, Casho. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, so, <laughs> our Dominic, hey. Every time I see the name of this game, I think of a half-remembered song from Monkey King cartoon. Huh. Dandara. Dandara. I don't know where they got this name. Um, I've been curious about this one for a while. Honestly. Um, I've heard a lot of things about it. I've heard it has um, some really interesting themes. Really interesting and topical. Um, I've also heard the control scheme is pretty unique. And that it gets kind of tedious at some point, but we'll see. Hey, Silver Mike, what's up? So yeah, um, here's the plan for tonight. So earlier today, we did uh, a ton of Dead Cells, and I actually beat it. I actually beat it for the first time in my life, which I was very, very excited about. Tonight, we're doing like a variety pack. Um, I have a bunch of platformers that people have mention they're interested in seeing, uh, among them Dandara, Poncho, um, Tobari, Serious Scramblers, uh, and a few others. We're gonna go through as many as we can, but, but, and this is important, um, I am open to people expressing interest in seeing more of any of these, so if we get in, into Dandara and y'all are like, damn, this game is really cool, I want to see more of this. I can set aside the time to do like a full playthrough because I don't think any of the games we're doing tonight are particularly long. Dandara, I think, is like six. I want to say it's like six to eight hours. We could definitely manage that. Um, Poncho, I think, is only like three or four. That one's pretty short. And the other ones, I don't think, are very long either. So. Gotten completely steamrolled three times in Boss L2 Arboretum. That area seemed like it'd be really evil. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was I was honestly surprised at how easy like Boss Cell Zero Dead Cells is now after they've done all their tweaking and readjusting. But yeah, once once I got to back to Boss once I got to Boss Cell One, it felt like being home again. So it's insane. Yeah, I really I, I wanna I wanna steal some time outside of streams and reviews to play it. I just don't know when that's gonna be. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this because we have a lot of ground to cover tonight. As if I haven't already streamed a ton. After the stream earlier, I thought about installing Dead Cells again, they start up Little Wood. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you see something, or you, like, it happens to me too. I will see somebody streaming something, like a streamer I really like. I'm like, oh my god, I have to play this again, or I have to get this. And then, like, later when I have that little bit of free time, I go and look, and I'm like, oh, but I'm still playing, I'm still playing Demon Crawl. Or something. I'm serious addiction to breaking the top ten of serious scramblers. Simple game that nails that one mechanic. MO stray skills will help an Endara. That's good enough. Hey Hieronymus, what's up? Hey Fury Fighter. Man, look at all y'all here. We're starting a new game. Of Dandara. Perfect timing, everybody. The salt was once in a beautiful piece. Must not be the kind of salt that we usually talk about. Creation and intention merged together into learning and growth. But like cancer, a golden idea grew. It saved files. Well, that's Cold World Steel. Hey, what's up, buddy? The balance broke. And oppression came. But then... From the crib of creation... A new hope has awakened. Ooh. Pium. 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 Okay, this is cool. Yeah, my understanding was that D Dandara is a platformer without really jumping. This is how you get around? And I am on board for that. Cool. Okay, cool. I can dig it. Rewatching DBZA, but live stream. Yes! <clears throat> we're gonna check out Hieronymus. We're gonna check out Serious Scramblers later. Anybody coming in late, 
I have a long list of games that I want to get to tonight, but but I am open. Um, if there, if any of them, that, if there are any of them that you want to see full playthroughs of, I am open to to requests. So I don't know that that would be tonight, but we might like we might push back our next uh, Monday game and spend a Monday or two getting through one of these. All right, flag raise, cool. Can I land on? No, okay. Okay, so the gray line is where you the gray line is where I'm aiming. Okay. The green diamond that's spinning is my cursor. All right, the gray line is where my where I'm pointing at and then the green line is where I'm actually going to go. Interesting. So then How is this going to work? Be impressed. Come see the violence here in the system. <laughs> Pool shark action going on. Oh, I hope so. I hope this game gets nuts with this movement. Because something like this can go can go very different ways. Like you can focus on like the slower paced, puzzly aspects of it, or you can start introducing like faster paced more intensive action and it remains to be seen what they're gonna go for and she can't go that far so she ha only has a limited distance that she can fly Hey, Drake, no, what's up? Oh, don't worry about it. Absolutely do not worry about it. I mean, there's always the VODs. And, I mean, it's... It's entirely possible we'll do Dead Cells again, because I... Okay. Interesting that it just leaves you floating there like that. Because I love me some Dead Cells. Do Bleed 1 and 2 count as platformers? I don't... I'm not familiar with that. Peach Girl, yes, this is Dandara. <clears throat> it's good to see you again. I thought that was a background item, too. Ah, okay. So far, pretty interesting concept. Um, mainly puzzly. Okay, thanks, Ronos. Trials of the Connected. Okay, so I guess I had to come this way to open that path. Oh, it's just the one. I like the movement system. I like that it automatically locks on to locations you can actually land on. So if you want, you can just kind of push in the general direction of where you want to go and just start mashing the button. This is an interesting concept. You know, I can't just go to the left. She don't walk. She launches herself. Oob. Oh God, look at those. Oh, what the hell? That's weird. Oh, we're back in the first room. I don't think... I think I have to go back around. Yeah, I gotta go back around. Gonna lurk for a bit. Got some new monsters to slay in... Oh, hello. Monster Hunter World. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here at all. 
always a pleasure to see everybody. Playing Stone Shard? Totally understand. Yeah, mostly when I'm at home now, I mostly watch streams while I'm playing something else. It's nice, it's nice if you're playing something low impact. Oh, that, that don't go very far. Okay, this, this, this might get a bit stressful. Okay, whoop. there we go. <laughs> also, Drake Nell, um, if you don't mind me asking, how are you finding Stone Shard? Obviously, there's a lot of people talking about it at the moment. Hey, Opsil, what's up, buddy? so far. It's very unique. I mean, just look at this level. I found a camp. Cool. Uh, Dandara. Okay, so we can upgrade things as we unlock them. Need 420 for it to increase our endurance. <laughs> the art style is really cool, too. I Like, I really like our character portrait there. Glossary. Place for resting, learning, sometimes even dreaming. Raise your flag, set your mark. This is where you'll return should you fall into oblivion. Ma most basic particles of the salt. Learn it and evolve from it. A new burst of Dandara's purpose will ignite. Increases Dandara's endurance. And then... A whole bunch of other stuffs. Hey, Reganomicon. The Harl will be jealous of her scarf. I know, right? It's so billowy. Like it so far, I learned a lot from High Wang's mistakes, so I'm not dying so much. Do I have to play cautiously and not be afraid to retreat from area? Yeah, I've mostly heard that Stone Shard is really unforgiving once you get out of the tutorial. Village of Artists that away. Primal Woods. Well, I'm definitely more at home among artists. So let's see what's up. I was about to say, does everyone in the world move the same way she does. Also, I hope those are bad guys. Whoa, okay. Whoops. Okay, they definitely don't like me. There's a small painting on the floor. Unlit, it is difficult to make out of shapes. Oh, ow. And it's also very cool that when you get hit in this, you get suspended in midair, so you can re-alight anywhere you want. Found a something. They're artists. Their canvas is violence. Piece of paper reminds you of the paths you have taken. How do I map? That's how I map. Alright, um... Mm, 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 mm. This has the potential to be a large game. Magic map. Stone Shard is really roguelike-y. See, that's interesting. It looked like it kind of... Is this somebody's ha abandoned house? Huh, cool. I solemnly swear I'm up on the ceiling. I need the compass and the big key. Is he gonna do a thing? What I get? I was part of the STEM squad and forced compliance on the army. Essence of salt. Use it to close your heart to regain your strength. Interesting way to phrase that. I ain't again it. I guess that's uh, like health potion. Essentially. Oop! What are you? I don't like you. 
Okay, that's cool. That's cool. If that's a taste of what combat's gonna be like in this game, I like it. You might like having a handle getting your butt kicked. <laughs> You've seen me play other games. Getting my ass kicked is... There's a small painting on the floor. Uh, yeah. Hi. Tarsilla. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I thought... I thought this was some dude with, like, an enormous nose. Like, she's, she's sitting like this. I thought her entire arm was her nose. I thought she was, like, a giant Muppet or something. It's just, like... It's cool, actually. It's kind of like the, the perspective on her is, like, totally off. See, this game has the weird room names like many other Metro Advantages, or Vagrant Story for that matter, yeah. Tutorial is not really representative of the game at large. Interesting. I, I assume you're talking about Stone Shard Reganomicon. <clears throat> I, think, I, I think she actually is this shape. That's cool. It's messing with my head and I like it. Pretty, so pretty, you must be Dandara. You saw the horrible Eldarian army outside, no? It's hardly a warm welcome. I'm so sorry I had to see the creation side like this. I've been hiding in our homes, waiting for the worst until we all felt you coming, but I couldn't be certain. I had to see you. Now you're here. So, you're going to aid us? I have an idea. I'll once again light up my paintings with my brush and palette. Cool. Tarsilla looks like some foot fish drawing to find it. <laughs> Poor Tarsilla. Really not sure how gravity works in this world, but... Should be in a Tarantino animated film. <laughs> This way. The big walk. Okay. So there's a little connection here. We can fill this in. Oh! The library. Can I talk to you? Rose Sadness. Huh. Ah, huh, interesting. Tarantino did Pan's Labyrinth. Small music box on the floor, mostly silent. A small hum tries to reach your ears. So I guess there's going to be another artist who activates the music boxes for us. Oh god. <laughs> that was unsmart. Wow, I launched myself into that dude. Hi. Tarantino did an anime, wouldn't it just be Black Lagoon? Um, let's see. Oh, Cam, good. Glad I came this way. Um, is there anything I can do? Increase essence effect. Ah, okay. Oh god. Having to charge your weapon adds a significant amount of strategy to it. Let's go east. I'm curious what's this way. <clears throat> Nowhere near enough shots of women with how she is just like <laughs> That's probably not good. Okay. Okay, you can't... You can't jump while you're aiming. And you can't charge until you've landed. I 
guess this stuff charges faster than I thought. Okay, that doesn't work. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Damn it. <laughs> Into oblivion we go. Um... Oh, interesting, okay. So it lets you... Wait, 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 wait. I think, I think all my salt is gone. Yeah, nothing. I had 500 something, now I got nothing. Okay. Maybe I can get it back if I go back to where I died. Dandara serious injuries. Oh, so those glowy bits are where people died. Huh. Game with corpse runs for the Souls games honestly isn't the best thing to grab. Yeah, if 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 you're picking stuff, if you're picking stuff to grab from the Souls games, it's not really. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I guess I need to charge hard in that. Okay, so, so th your charge level does, oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna get this guy, though. There we go. I get, I get salt for killing people. They get so salty. Um, mm, okay. I think we're this way? Rose from the library died of sadness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piano Alley. Hi. Bye. Boy, it must be frustrating for them to be stuck on the ceiling just pacing. I can blow them up. Boom. That's fun. The Salt and Sanctuary. No, but you know, I have Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, next week. It, it might be kind of late for this, but next week we might pick a platformer Souls-like to try, because I've got a couple. When we're done with Dandara, I'll show you the ones I have on my list, and we can maybe decide on one to explore. Salt and Sanctuary is really good. Is there a co-op mode? I wouldn't imagine that. Beautiful Horizon Avenue. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it's cute. Yep. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But of course, first boss in the game, so. Cool. This doesn't look like a boss arena or anything. Uh, the 2D souls like Salt and Sanctuary might be the best, really. There are, there are, there are, there are quite a couple. There are quite a few. I played a few of them. Also, would you count Hollow Knight? I feel like you can go either way on Hollow Knight. Okay, I, okay, I need I need the music box person. Salt and Sanctuary. If Hollow Knight counts, so does Blasphemous. Yeah, I, I would I would say so. A lot more Metrovania than Souls like. Yeah, I I think it's very debatable for those. I didn't actually mean to go that way. But okay. Because they definitely, games like Hollow Knight and Blasphemous definitely adopted aspects of Souls-like design 
But like the core game experience is still a Metroidvania. So I I, I think it's kind of it's it's very debatable where you where you leave the line for that. Soulsborne are also Metroidvanias. Also true. Also true. Small music box. There's a yeah, they share a lot of DNA. Hi. Thomas. Salt has become deaf to my music. I feel like I'm fading out. What? Wait, huh. you're Dandara, right? How'd you get in here? Did you finish that noisy Eldarian army monster outside? <clears throat> What's your favorite wolf and do? <laughs> Freedom, I like the way it sounds. I know what to do now. Whoa! Dude, look at this guy go! Song is from the old days of the salt. So now these work. Okay, cool. Salt and Sanctuary has a very bloodborne aesthetic and game feel. Um Yeah, after after we do Dandara, we can we can talk about um we can talk about this particular genre game. Okay, so I can't make it through here yet. I'm gonna need some kind of power. A lot of Souls likes hide things behind keys of various sorts instead of requiring new tools to get around slash through. True. True. But then, then the question arises, is that a requirement of a Metroidvania? Do Metroidvanias have to gate your progression through powers? Or can they gate them in other ways and still be considered Metroidvania? I don't, before we get super, before we get super deep into this, I'm not real hard up on, on genre definitions. Like I am, I play fast and loose with them myself, but I do think it makes for an interesting discussion. Uh, okay, so we wanna go this way. I wonder if you I haven't noticed, does your map rotate with you? No, it definitely doesn't. That's... <gasps> but you can make it. Ah, the Y button makes it rotate. I don't even consider these to be genres. These are taxonomies. Ah, okay. Don't think they can really gate you with powers very well in Soulsborns. They can. Uh, the Surge 2 does. The Surge 2 is more Metroidvania than any other Souls like I played. Like, you get very conspicuous- you get very conspicuous powers that unlock certain doors. What just hit me? Ooh. You know what, I need to go- I need a camp before I die. Yeah, I should. Oh wow, it only gives you one heart. Yeah, there was no reason not to use that. Thank you. As always, chat, thank you for reminding me for, to not be an idiot. Oh, this is cool. Can I... Oh, I, I want to go over there. I want to rotate around a thingy. Garantito. Let's see what Garantito is. I saw someone saying we shouldn't say Metroidvania or Rogue Legacy. The genres should have clear and original names like no. Just straight up no. I think for me, I'm all about, <clears throat> I'm all about genres being inclusive. I don't really think it does anybody any good to exclude certain games, certain genres, unless you're really, really, really defying expectations. Ow. Oh God. Jesus. Ooh, okay. does go through them. Oh lord, e boy. Oh no, I missed. Oh, I missed. How far? Wait, no, that's okay. It'll just take me back to the last camp and I'll still have done everything that I've done. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Nuclear take genres should be vector spaces. 
I don't even know what that means, Reganomicon. Oh, Young Lee, we used to call those Doom clones. I don't think this is a big deal since genres with weirder names tend to be more specific genres, also true. All your salt. I'll get all my salt! I, I don't I don't plan on dying again. Oh, and your red vial thingy actually actually works like a uh, like an Estus flask. It's not a consumable. There's it it's not permanently consumed, is what I'm trying to say badly. Uh, what a name that communicates what a roguelike it is well. How do y'all feel about... Uh, what was... The one I always hear thrown around is uh, Procedural Death Labyrinth. For more classic style roguelikes. What do y'all think of the distinction between roguelikes and roguelites? Because I hate it. <laughs> I am not a fan of that distinction at all. Like, I never bothered to use the term roguelite. I, I get what they're trying to convey, but I don't find it useful, personally. Laughs in Ber Berlin interpretation. <laughs> More of a roguey kind of guy. Place older terms until we come up with something better. Don't bother, but I know the difference, yeah. Okay, I think we're all on the same page with that one, then. Bridge in the River That Falls. That's a cool name. Uh, don't. Oh, y'all gonna, oh, y'all gonna do this to me? Oh my, oh my god, okay. Alright, we're not, we're not clearing these dudes out. We're getting the hell out of here. Uh, I'm creeping. I'm creeping. Rogue. Roguelites are the porno roguelites. <laughs> Roguelites. <clears throat> I have over 2,000 salts. I need to hit a camp like damn. So that's fun. It's a scale of roguelike. Roguelike action RPG. Oh, that's an interesting continuum, Reganomicon. I wouldn't have gone there, but I definitely see where you're coming from. I was reading, I was reading the roguelike thread on something awful earlier, and uh, they were actually discussing Diablo and how the original Diablo was at one point intended to be a roguelike, and then they eased off of some of the mechanics to make it more like to make it acceptable to a wider audience. Some roguelike ideas just don't work on discrete turn timer, but are extremely roguelike in nature. Diablo 1 was not turn-based. Uh, Diablo, all the Diablo games played essentially the same way. Diablo 1 was grid-based though, and pretty clunky about it. That's the that's the major distinction. Uh, okay, so we've cleared that whole area. I just need to check this upper part up here. So we'll head back to camp. Spend all this salt. d one's basically a real-time roguelike. Yep, I would agree with that. I would very much agree with that. Uh, originally planned to be turn-based. That would explain the, um... It's grid-basedness. Lots of signs for unsecured load companies and glaciers. <laughs> Alright, um... Upgrade. Oh, it's constant across all of these. Let's go with that. Looks like the signs and such in the city are in Portuguese. I believe the developers are Portuguese, yes. Okay, that worked. If you took an average roguelike and turn, turn turn timers into milliseconds, you get a pseudo Diablo. Makes sense.
Whatever's going in on in here, I don't I don't think we can do nothing. It's the Souls leveling system, okay. Interesting how much they borrowed from Souls for this. I was I was genuinely not expecting that. Don't mind me. It's such an interesting concept for a game. Concrete cave. Okay, I can't go there either. Um, so... I guess we're going back to the green area. And over. Cow. <laughs> Where are y'all on Souls likes? Is is everyone's preference like Bloodborne, or are there are there Souls likes outside of the FromSoft games that y'all prefer? Soul leveling system economy is kind of genius. Just have enemies drop EXP and use as currency with no intermediaries. Yeah, it definitely works. Rathlos breaking your spine. Blood, Bloodborne and Code Vein. Okay. Bloodborne's the best for you, Absol. Ashen and Surge. I'm actually really interested in trying Ashen. I know it had an incredibly tepid uh, reception initially, but it looks like the kind of game that I would really appreciate. Remnant was fun, but just kind of ends. That's a shame. We're really like Bloodborne due to its aesthetic. I think that's a big part of the appeal for a lot of people. I wonder how the hell you get up in there. Almara's track. Uh, can I? Okay. The spiky vines are just for show, apparently. Do wish some Bloodborne mechanics got wider adoption, like trick weapons. Oh yeah, the weapons in Bloodborne were super cool. I only got to play Bloodborne a little bit at a friend's house, but just like this, the starting stuff you get to play with was really neat. Okay. Let's <laughs> ping pong around. Bloodborne doesn't count as a Souls like it's a Souls game. Yeah, I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Had issues getting to most Souls games because of runbacks. Hmm. Did you get far into Bloodborne? Reganomicon, that's directed me. I got to the first boss. I, actually, I guess I saw the first boss. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the opening of that game necessarily. The the old man in the graveyard, I think. Whoever that dude is. Okay, it wasn't Cleric Beast. I guess my... Oh, you know what it was? You know what it was? I went over to a friend's house, and he had started Bloodborne. And invited me to play some of it, because he wasn't really getting into it. Uh, and I had just finished... I hadn't played one in a while. I would played Dark Souls 1 and 2. And so I, I used what I knew to kind of get through some areas and open some stuff up. And he took it from there. Gascon, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that dude. I fought him. And now my friend loves Soulsborne games. Af after that experience, he platinumed uh, Bloodborne. Which is like, holy shit. <laughs> Papaji is an absolute brick wall of beginners. Yeah, I think that I think he was what was giving my friend pause. Or just that area in general. Okay, so I'm there. So there's another. There's a door to my right. 
What? No, there isn't. Oh, I, I see. I'm down here when I should be... Oh, I can't get up there. Maybe I can go... I can go around the other way. Oh, hi. Milton. Poison stings. Ouch. I don't know. It might be a better way to go than sorrow. I mean, that's kind of the nature... I feel like that's the nature of Souls games, to just have, like, roadblock bosses. Like the, um... Who is it, the Capra Demon in, uh, Dark Souls 1? I got stuck on his ass for a while. Some... Oh, God. Okay. Interesting. So I guess I'm gonna have to get that to move. Gimme. Capra's a camera boss. Capra would be a joke if not for the dogs. You gotta be the camera to win. Very true. New burst of Dandara's purpose will ignite. Okay, so now you get four shots. That somehow turned the spikes off in this area. I guess they were here just for... Hmm? Okay, I can't go that way. Confusion ruins. Yeah, you got that right. Okay, so I need... I need something... F I need something for these. I need something that makes those work. But I'm not really sure... Not really sure what I've missed. I don't remember if I can get in here or not. Oh god, there's a little tiny room here. God, what if there's a thing in there that I need? Better if- I- I- well, I'm not exactly the watermark for these games. Bed of Chaos did not give me trouble. I honestly didn't know people hated the Bed of Chaos so much until after I beat it. Until after I beat the game and people were discussing like, what the hell was that? Oh, that's not cool. Sun's Funhouse ruined a lot of people. What were, what were my roadblocks in Dark Souls? Um, well, at the very beginning of the game, I couldn't I couldn't beat uh, the big the big dude up on the the tower walls, the first real boss, um, until a friend clued me in that I would need to use items and kind of like pay attention to like what enemies were weak against. The Capra Demon was the next roadblock I hit. Um, and then after that was the Spider Lady. The Spider Lady Underground I got stuck on for a real long time. Um, Sen's Fortress wasn't too bad. Smog and Ornstein was real bad. Real, real bad. Bosses are super situational, everyone. Spider Lady is ridiculously easy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Sends a dick for hiding spawn fire, yeah. It is a really cool trap dungeon. The Archer Bridge, see, okay. Yeah, case, case in point, exactly what Bacon Copter is saying. I did not have a problem with the Archer Bridge. I realized really early on that you just, you just haul ass through there. And I didn't, and that was pretty much it for me. It took, it took me a couple tries, sure, but it wasn't, like, ruinous or anything. Um, what else hung me up in that game? Smoke and arm being a, re being a roadblock. Uh, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, I only got like halfway through, but I remember the, the metal soldiers you fight in that one, 
big stone room. You have to fight like two of them or something. I got stuck there for a really long time until I got some, basically until I got some, some helpful people summoned that can kind of do it for me. I've never beaten them straight. Problem with the bridge, you can haul ass and still get shot off, yeah. I think I, I, I'm pretty sure I got lucky too, so. Gwyn is hard if you fight him straight up. Is he? Yeah, the three, yeah, okay, yeah, three dudes in a multi-level box. Yeah, that one, I almost didn't get past that. I was, I was about ready to quit, I think. Rathlos left the area. Oh. Good luck, Fury Fighter. I believe in you. Uh, Ornstein, Smog, Artorias, Calamite. Cause, oh, because you insist on getting the tail, yeah. Throw on full Havel and Bait Parries. I didn't... I don't think I used Havel, but I definitely parried him to death. Do I want to go... Yeah, I do. Manus was hard. Manus was definitely hard. Manus was hard, but fun. Door seems locked from the inside. Someone's hiding in there. Okay. F fine. We'll try this one room. If I can't figure out where to go, we might be done with Dandara for the night. <laughs> The four kings on your soul level build uh, one were a nightmare. I learned I learned after the fact that ah oh, shit you have to go around for that. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, so I think we're gonna call Dandara here. Um, I don't know what do you guys think. This is cool. Interesting. Refuse to even try that. I actually okay. So after I beat Dark Souls, the, Dark Souls one the first time, I liked it so much. I isn't there a button over there? I think the button's on the far side of the wall. Purple button, open up the new area. Oh god! <laughs> wow, you walked into that, didn't you? You're right. I'm stupid. All right, let's see, what's, let's see what's in here. I beat on Switch and liked it. There's just some weird parts. Interesting. What's this room? Uh, okay, I'm not getting in there. That's an eyeball. Uh, this is different. So far. I'm curious about the story. I'm curious if this is all like taking place in someone's head and these are aspects of their like creativity and insecurities and stuff. It, it just, it's just, it's striking me as that kind of game. Street. I guess we're going this way then. This is. Store says referencing some political stuff in their area. Yeah, I believe so. I can't reach. I blew up Dolores. She was suffering from despondency. Sorry, Dolores. Oh, okay. Oh, 
That's another one of these cores. Wasn't too bad. Oh, hello. That could have been bad, though. Yeah, apparently, that's the only way to get over here. So, what's here? Illusionary way. This goes all the way back. So, maybe I'll come back to that. <laughs> oh, cool. I can't. I can't believe video games would do a politic. God, somebody had some, like, total idiot take on Twitter today. Imagine that, right? Like, Tim Sweeney or somebody. Oh, this puzzle? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, when humans make things, they're gonna be political. Because politics affects everyone. In my experience, I've found people that object to, to being political. What they're really saying is, I think you're gonna express opinions that I don't wanna deal with. Like, it, it's not, I don't want to hear about politics, it's I don't want to hear about your politics. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, um... I don't think there's a way back off of that one. Ah, oh, I can't reach you! Now I can. Okay, what happens if I go in here? Whole lot of nothing. But I can't go any further than this. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's necessarily just oh my god. Okay, cool. This thing goes back at least, so. Let me off. Ah, uh, but I can't get on anything. It's kind of obnoxious. I think I see what I need to do. I think I, I think I need to go around again, but I don't think I'm gonna put you guys through that. Can I just, I wonder if I can just main menu this. Apparently yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I, I, I think I saw what to do, but I, I'm ready to move on. I don't know about the rest of y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, it, it's cool. It's very puzzly. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. That's cool. So yeah, I'll keep at that. You can expect a review of this later this month. I'll just need some time to go through it. Okay, before I forget, before I forget, um, so souls like platformers that I've got. Um, Dark Devotion. I remember picking this one. This one's a fairly recent release, I think. Right? No, it was April of last year. It might have been early access, I don't remember. But it looked pretty cool. I like the art in this one, so I wanted to give it a try. So I've got this. Um, yeah, I got, I've got Salt and Sanctuary. Um, I totally overlooked this one. I think May 17th, 2016. I think this came out when I was kind of when I kind of lost interest in Souls games. So I didn't bother picking it up. Um, let's see. Us Usurper, I think, is... No, I think this one might be straight Metroidvania. Jesus Christ, this guy looks... 
Exactly like the dude from Lament of Innocence. That's really funny. I forget where I picked this one up. By far the worst thing about Salt and Sanctuary is that Flash style character art. It does have strange art, doesn't it? So yeah, I think those, I think Dark Devotion and Salt and Sanctuary are the big ones. Because Wings of V and Tower Hunter, Tower Hunter is an interesting one. I kind of want to do this one sometime. It looks sort of like uh, Bloodstain before Bloodstain. Or actually, no, it came out after Bloodstain, didn't it? October 12th? Is that right? I think so. So yeah, I'm going to give this one a try sometime. But all this stuff we may end up doing like next week. So tonight, right now, I'm going to do Poncho. I want to give Poncho a try. I've been meaning to give Poncho a try for ages. So, um, Poncho. I'm trying, I'm trying to stick to kind of lighter, cuter stuff tonight. And then we can go like full souls like next week. They made, I made a game of zombies in it. Did they really? <laughs> Jonathan Charlotte. Jonathan Charlotte. I love that one. Portrait of Ruins, honestly, one of my favorite Castlevania. I know most people don't agree. I love it. The best $1 I spent on Xbox Arcade. <laughs> Yeah. That's ah, really loud. Jesus Christ, that's really loud. Okay, yeah, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna turn that down for y'all, and then we're gonna turn down the in-game music when I get the chance. To what? <laughs> Order of Ecclesia is your favorite? Order of Ecclesia is a little It's a little too hard and a little too awkward to be to be my favorite. Like, I don't actually want Metroidvanias to be really hard. You've only played Symphony. Wow. Get good, mate. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, this looks cool. You wouldn't expect a game named Poncho to be so loud, I know, right? That looks like the tower. It looks like a red version of the tower from Mega Man 2. Oh shit, y'all. We're in robot hell. Actually, like the second 3D Castlevania. Th oh, oh, Curse of Darkness! Fury Fighter, Curse of Darkness, I have that one. I like it too. What the hell is going on here? Hi. I, I, I really hope this game doesn't think it's Fez. Hey, game volume, hush. Okay, I, I think I can. I think I can put this back to normal levels now. I wanna. I. I, I kind of want to stop altering levels in. Uh, in OBS, because when I do that, it also affects. Um, affects the sound alerts. Let me turn this down slightly more. Apparently, this is this is high quality graphics. So. All right, hold A to jump. Wee! Oh my God! Rip it right, yeah. CRT vomit on the screen, Hodge, that's what. Okay, well, I guess we're never going back. Is this that Herald game about the DreamWorks face robot? No. No. Um, what is that game called? It's not Harold. I reviewed Harold. Harold was like the not Wally. <laughs> Horus, that's it. Thank you, Justin Brett. Yeah, Horus.
Okay, that's cute. Precision platforming here. Press right button to shift forward. Oh! Okay. It does the uh, mutant muds thing. Jump and press. You dick. <laughs> Why would you tell me to do that? We 3DS now. Hey, Jest. What's up? Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't see what's below me. Uh -huh. Womp womp. Okay, that worked. They, they could potentially get, get some really interesting mechanics out of this. Potentially. Ob obvious heavy inspiration from Virtual Boy Wario. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god, we're gonna die. We only have 10 minutes to figure this out, guys. I don't know what we're gonna do. Wait, now I have six minutes. Wait, what just happened? Oh, oh, well. Are you gonna try and review Horace for, no, I, I don't, okay, the, why do I have a minute 30 now? What the hell? Okay, the, the movement in this game is really weird. Like sometimes it just kind of gets away from you. What was what was the point of the timer? The refund timer your dollars are really gone now, sorry. <laughs> oh no. This game has real world consequences. So, you have finally woken. Welcome back, my child. If you're hearing this, then it means that I have failed, and the world has ended. When I made you, I hid something inside. With it, you can release me and... Phrasing. Humanity can begin again. Daddy? Pants were dead. Necros, no. Red Tower. This is kind of neat. I'll, I'll give them credit for this. This is kind of cool. Uh-oh. I crashed the game. Stack Overflow. Made by Yoko Taro. Didn't we do this already but with a blob? Yes. Time to release Robo Satan. Looks like somebody already did. All right. I will say I do like these graphics. I do think the graphics are really cool. Um, I don't. What you expect me to do now? This is just Detroit. <laughs> Welp. I think I was supposed to do that. Yeah, apparently. Obvious key is obvious. Near and his daughter in that store. What a weird first 10 minutes of your video game. I know, right? Whoops, I accidentally left. I guess we here now. 
This is just found footage. Yeah, this is not quite what I was expecting. Also, another key back there. This perspective makes it really hard to see what's going on. Like, I can't tell if there's anything under this pillar or not. Hi. It's not my fault the old ones gave me this hat. Why did I do that? T take me with you. Okay, there's a pillar there. Okay, yeah. Okay, serious problem with the air control. I wonder... Is, it, is this thing just not connecting or what? Sometimes you keep going and sometimes you don't. Dude, check out, check out the big floater in the background with the monocle and the top hat. Another game with an FTL as heck track. There's another green key back there. Did I miss a green key somewhere? There's that old chat. Okay, I have the key, okay. Uh, he just flashed me. I can buy a red key for 10 doodas. I don't want a red key for 10 doodas. Thank you. Thank you. I have to get a red key for 10 doodas. I have to get two red keys for 10 doodas. Found the robo. <laughs> buy something, will ya? What are you buying? What are you selling? Okay, this is weird. Bye. Bye. Ha ha. Thank you. I want to jump on you. You look like you should be jumped on. I get what they're doing, but I don't think they're doing it very well. The, the weird perspectives. Need inventory idea, but don't do that just for keys, yeah. Not shifting enough? It's a little hard to tell what's in the foreground and what's in the background. Like, a lot of stuff gets obscured. this. I think I just ended the world again. S second impact. What's that? Are you going to give me a heart? Jump while midair to smash. Don't worry, oh, I'm just gonna do plenty of shifting. He's gonna shift all the scan in the reviews. Whoops! Wait, what? Wait a tick. Did I just. I think I broke the game. I can't pause it. I can't do anything. <laughs> You're an upset dog. Okay. Let's try that again. 13 minutes in and I broke it. <laughs> Next. No, we're going to give it another try. We're going to give it another try, unless it put me, like, way back or something. In which case, yeah, next. It reset the audio levels on me, too. <laughs> Whoops. 
What? Where the hell am I? Games looks meh bad instead of actually awful. The Holy Steam review says mixed, yeah. I don't know where I am. I've never seen this area. I hate that. I I hate these area transitions. I hate that I can just get near a tree. I hate that I can just get near a transition and it transitions me. This game's like Fez, but less cool. That's what I was afraid of. Right from the start, that's what I was nervous about. Oh god, oh fuck. Uh... Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, some... I don't think it's my controller, but sometimes he just gets going. Is it my controller? It shouldn't be. Hi. What up? I want all the little robot buddies to talk? Yeah. Hmm. Fundamental mechanics just seems bad. Yeah. And this part is not particularly fun. Right? Oh, I had it too. Okay. All right. All right. We're done. <laughs> we're 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 done with this. Yeah. I think I've had enough of that. One of the Paper Mario games did this mechanic fine. I I think it was Super Paper Mario, wasn't it? All right. That was that that definitely was Poncho. That sure as hell was Poncho. That was like 15 minutes of Poncho. Oh, it was. It was literally 15 minutes. All right. Oof. Never mind. <laughs> let's play. Let's do Serious Scrambler. Serious Scrambler. There you are. Let's see what this thing's all about. I know Casho really likes this game, and Casho Casho has had good taste so far. He's the one. Uh, he's the one that put me on Duck Souls, which was actually pretty fun. Oh god! We begin. Nin Nin. That's a lot of characters. Damn. Hang on one sec. There we go. No, no, god no, don't do that. Dumb jokes wrapped around from cute to annoying as hell to brilliant that one. You survive till the end. Confirm. Start scrambling. Ah, okay. Controlled falling. Okay, I can do that. I did it! It's Ninja Downwell, but with no gun boots. Like, the gun boots were so integral. Ooh, toasted. Yeah, the interface screams mobile, yeah. Oh, can I wrap around? I can, okay, cool. All right, that helps. Y'all are feisty tonight, damn. <laughs> okay, okay. 
beat off that sushi. I wonder how many levels there are. I didn't realize this is a Flash game stream. Dude, it's, it's indie platformers. What exactly did you expect? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this is this is. Hey, hey, wait! Just wait. A second. I thought that was hey, a game for a second. <laughs> Bootleg down well. Uh, uh. Oh God! It's tr it's trickier than it looks, y'all. Spend your coins so you don't need to restart. Christian J Downwell for kids who can't play with guns. Eh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Work for the new generation. What is this one? Oh, those are spikes. Those are definitely spikes. Okay. Now it's getting complicated, y'all. You wrote this one off too fast, and now it's gonna ruin you. It's going to wreck your shit. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck! <laughs> Told you. Told you, but you didn't believe me. <laughs> Don't need to restart if you spend the coins. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Like, is this like a one-time thing? Like, you spend 50 coins to just keep going? What if I don't want to do that? What if I want... What if I want to save the... But why would you do that? Why would you do that, though? I want my 50 coins back. You're right, yeah. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> Whoops. Is this on the phone? Because sometimes there have been games on, on Steam that look like phone games and aren't. So it's not always... Okay, yeah, there it is. Unless... Yeah, no, 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 no. Being a phone game doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, I love phone games. Certain phone games. This is, I'm always curious. Like, there's, there's one game on Steam called Don't Die. Actually, I wonder if it's on... I wonder if it's on here now. No, it's not. Okay, there's a game on Steam called Don't Die that looks like the quintessential, like, phone zombie game. It's like... <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> 
See, we truly, we truly have the greatest community here. We have the greatest community on the internet. Oh god, I, oh, I'm not dead. Unbelievable. <laughs> so should I stream that next? Is that what you, damn it. Same brain cell. <laughs> I almost got to the end of that level. Oh, the character from that's in Death Road to Canada? That's great. Uh. Hmm. So if you get a bunch of spike platforms all at once, you really kind of have to let the thing go back up first. So, oh my god. Imagine trying to do this with touch controls. It might not be that bad, actually, because it, it would just be... It'd just be dragging your finger left and right. It would work. I need to remember I can do that, too. Hey! In there. Being owned by Zoomers from Metroid. Why Toast did not scrub? Our Dominic. You're absolutely right. They really missed a trick there, didn't they? Uh oh. God. Okay. Yeah, there was something off. Okay, going back to Poncho for a second, there's something off about the controls because I've been using the analog stick for this and it's not causing me any problems. Damn it. Anybody gonna pick up Wolfson when it's out tomorrow? I don't I don't know a lot about it, but I'm I'm interested just because of the hype surrounding it. Damn it. These guys are annoying. Yeah, it's a new ARPG. Looks very Diablo. Like a good Diablo 3. Like a not Blizzard Diablo, which I think is the important part now. Yep. I I agree. I really like launch Diablo 3. But I mean, that's that's not to say it can't be improved upon, you know. Pricing gonna increase tomorrow? Hiding under your rock. Watch a bit of a stream the other day and look polished at least. I don't know. I did I did just pick up um oh lord. I picked up the division two for like three bucks yesterday or the day before. So I think if I'm going to sink any time in an ARPG, it's going to be that one. Because I love Division 1. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh. What was I supposed to do there? Oh, wow. So I guess I just had to wait, like, as long as humanly possible on that one. Like, I, I get this game, I get what the challenge is, I think it's just not really for me. Like, this isn't, this isn't the kind of challenge that I'm interested in mastering. I don't think this is a bad game. I don't think this is a bad game at, at all. I know y'all been snarking about it, but... Oh, shit your pants next. <laughs> It's, it's not on Steam, is it? Where where would I find this thing if I wanted to... Oh, my God. Yeah, this, this would be perfect for mobile. Pick it up, put it down, yeah. Yeah, it's... Exactly. It's not the kind of game that I really want to sit at my computer and play. But, yeah, I would, I would totally waste some time on my phone with this. Oh, God. Should go on the other way. It's perfectly acceptable, just not something you bother playing because you got another bunch of other games. Yeah.
I mean, even on my phone, I'm pretty picky. Like, I only play... I have Apple Arcade, and I only play two games now, and they aren't even Apple Arcade games. Uh, uh, ah. Just Google, don't shit your pants. <laughs> Let me see if this is anything different, and then... The scream wrapping helps sometimes, okay. I have to assume that they add, they, they'll add in additional gimmicks and platform types and enemies and stuff as the game rolls on. Casho, if you're there, how many levels does this have? Oh, it's been 25 hours on this game. Nothing wrong with that. I think uh, it was Jetpack Joyride on... Yeah, it was Jetpack Joyride on the iPhone. I think that was the first iPhone game I really, really, really got into. And I think I had like... Like weeks of time logged in that one. Like hundreds of hours. Because anytime I was on the toilet, I'd just be playing it. It turns out you spend a lot of time on the toilet in your life. Endless mode could be neat. Actually, let's, yeah, let's head out. iPhone era app store with godlike. Jest, yes, I'm right there with you. My first iPhone was an iPhone, iPhone 4S. So is it? No, I guess I have to unlock it. Um, so let's see. Helmets are cool. Speed boost lasts longer, more spikes. More coins, lower speed. Fewer coins, permit speed boost. Falls slower. Speed boost lasts longer. Bullets can't hurt you. Okay, so there's bullets in this eventually. Short bounce, high speed. Level scrolls faster. Permit speed boost falls faster. That's kind of cool. Fireproof shield. More coins attracts coins for a speed boost. Favorite iPhone game is Cribbage with Grandpa's. I wouldn't call it, I would not call it a, a downwell ripoff. I think it's just a very simple, like, downward platforming game. 96.2% of players have finished a tutorial. It actually feels really high for a game like this. Like, really, really high. Okay. All right. Can't believe I'm doing this. You really want me to play this? Like, you really... Is it even... Yeah, hang on. I have... I have Flash blocked. Like, universally, because it's so jank these days. Um... I forget how to name Okay, okay, hang on. I think I got it. Oh my god, no. Congregate, shut up. No, congregate, shut up. Jesus Christ. You watch me play down well? Hang on, apparently we have to do this first. The start type play. <clears throat> oh, I love Downwell, no doubt about that. I just, I've played it a lot. Hang on, I got it, I got to know something. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this game is actually it's actually on Twitch. We we are officially I'm I'm pre I'm 99% sure we're the only don't shit your pants stream in the world right now. It's official. All right. Bye. Uh open door. Hold door. Go to toilet. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, y'all. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> God's making me cry. <laughs> it's the name of the game for fuck's sake. Continue <laughs> to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's killing me. I'm gonna die. Can I make the game bigger? Uh, ugh, can I? Can I zoom in? No, 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 not that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wait, I bet I can. Yes, yes, here we go, here we go. There we go, here we go. <sighs> okay, okay, I can do this. I believe in myself. Okay. Uh, uh, move pants. Stand up. Move pants. Sit. Toilet. <laughs> I did. <laughs> why? 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 Why are there so stand still? Okay. Forty seconds. Forty seconds. I can't believe we're doing it. Can I call Sierra online tip line to get past the part? You're running out of time. <laughs> get the slow typer reward. Only had a little more time and a higher IQ. <laughs> Sometimes even zero effort is rewarded. What else can you do? Can you leave? Uh, jump. I don't know how to jump. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm invested in this now. Can you? No, that makes you sit. Oh, oh, he doesn't know how to sit. Can't remove his shirt. At least he can remove his pants. Uh, 
That didn't work. I wonder what else you can do. Upper deck. <laughs> Open tank. Upper deck. <laughs> he doesn't know how. <laughs> okay. okay, I think I think this one's run its course. I am I am super curious about that one at the bottom though. I obviously doesn't know how to hold it. Uh What else could you do in this situation? <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. Game hasn't started yet, but you just can help yourself. Really? Oh, wow. Huh. Huh. <laughs> it's a guy. <laughs> Check your pocket to you find some pills for stomach relief. Take pills. Hmm. And now we wait. Now we go in the bathroom and wait. Uh oh, sure. Huh, okay. Huh? <laughs> hey, we did it. That didn't really make a whole lot of sense, but we did it. Good good work team. We just we just platinum don't shit your pants. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. That's how we do around here. Okay. What are we doing next? Uh people made this made Rogue Legacy next. God, that's amazing. Let's do All right, let's check out Tobari. I don't know anything about this one, but it was requested. Um Nope, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Not that one. Tobari. Tobari and the Knight of the Curious Moon. I don't know hardly anything about this one. Uh, I'm going to clip that so it can follow Oddish forever. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus, why is everything so damn loud? Like, my audio is not set that loud. You guys are dialed down. Oh. Ah. Uh. God, just, just be, God almighty, be quiet. No one spam pouring ASCII while I'm away. Review when? I should review that, shouldn't I? I'm gonna, once Platform February is over, I'm gonna be doing a lot. <laughs> once 
once platform everywhere is over, I'm gonna be doing a lot of non-Steam stuff. Uh, we're gonna start doing, we're gonna start doing uh, game jams again. Um, I'm gonna try doing dramatic readings, which have been requested more than a few times. Right, an oddish length review of "Don't Shit Your Pants" seems like a crime. <laughs> What's the? Oh my god. Wait, nothing. What the hell's going on here? Okay. Okay, lost focus somehow. Can you actually? No, you can't. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Okay. Great. Alright. Save file, data one, yes. Ringu, yes. We're gonna do Ringu. Yeah, after after platform memory is over, Wednesday's gonna become wildcard nights. Oh god, oh god, wait, 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 wait. This is this is murdering my system. No, what are you game, what are you doing? Hang on, let me let me try something real quick. It is almost April, it's true. Turning off V-Sync is a brave choice. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Pause button is open menu. Magic button is enter stage. Nothing actually does anything. Okay, we're... Oh god, nothing actually does anything. Okay, let's fix this. Was it, was it V-Sync? Is that what, is that what... Made it so angry? No, that's not what made it angry. Uh, off. Yes. Okay. It, it, it just, it doesn't want a full screen, is the thing, so, here. Alright, let's try this again. <clears throat> oh, Smokey, I'm sorry to hear that. Well. By all means, like, take your time. There's no, there is no rush. We'll get to it when we get to it. It's still only morning, but the sun's already setting. Just what is going on here? I'd better get a feel for the situation. Hina was acting a little odd too. Where'd she get to anyway? Could have at least told me what was up or not gotten, in, gotten involved in weird stuff at all. No use worrying about it. Better check this out, okay. Don't worry, buddy. It's gonna happen. I believe in you. Hello there. I'm a rabbit. No, you're not. I hope our advice can be of use to you. That's my hope anyway. Let's be friends, okay? Okay, great. <laughs> wow, Obsol. <laughs> By a small margin. <laughs> He's like, copter, why? Why would you do this to me? Oh god. Okay. Oof. The ring ends you once, Crohn's keeps coming back. Oof. Well, at least this way we can all suffer together. There is... There is a great deal of momentum to everything you do. I want to get up there. I want to get up there. I think I have to bounce off the little dog thing. Maybe not that way. This Porta. Hey, you. I sense magic in the air. That's your key, miss. Whack it with your staff and get a spell. Wait, what the hell is this? Is that like a Yuna hamster? She said ice. We got ice. You say anything else? Same thing. Oh, it changed my regular attack. Cool. Okay. <gasps> Maybe. Maybe I can use that to get up there. 
Is this a Monica platformer? Oh, no, he's dead. In all seriousness, I'm sorry to have Crohn's. I roommate within college. I know it sucks a lot. Hopefully, treatments continue to improve and your life does well. Yeah, I think I think we're all on the same page with that. Definitely, definitely hope things improve for you, Smokey. Like here we go from a shit talking simulator to anime game number 17 drone. <laughs> Yeah, we're glad you make it out every night, Smokey. When you do, so. We definitely want things to work out for you. Hey, I got one up. Okay, so you can you can still Goomba stomp things. Everything's so cute. Should I feel bad about freezing it to death? I'm gonna go with no. Oh god. This is really cute though. Yep, you're dead. Was this cute nonsense? Hey Grizzly. This one was requested. Uh, it was asked that I check out uh, Tobari. It's cute, but not Magic Hat cute, true. Boy, Magic Hat was a thing. Crohn's is brutal. Still think you should look into high CBG extracts. Well, that was bright, wasn't it? Oh, I guess we're getting fired this time. So this is cool. You beat up an enemy and then you get their magic. Oh, and fire is sweet. Whatever stands your way, you might just be able to do something about magic. Try what comes to mind. Come on. Just such good posture. Ha! Taste your own medicine. Kind, yeah, kind of a Kirby-like. Really, my only, my only objection to it at the moment is the controls. You get a lot of inertia going when you're moving. Like, it's, it's one of those games where one, when you start moving, you start off a little slow, and then when you let off the stick, like, you keep walking a bit. What do you have? Oh, nothing, apparently. <laughs> no. <laughs> Straight fucking nope. It's a new genre you coined it, Kirby-like. This looks like some game builder I tried in 2005. Press up in front of this door, onward to a brand new world. Well, I refuse to I refuse to judge games like this based solely on their appearances. There's a lot of really good, like, in like solid indie games out there that don't have the best graphics. Got two spell slots. Press the magic switch button to switch between them. You can't switch until you're ready to use your spell. So be aware of long ones. Okay, that's okay. That's chuck your spell. Which one is? Select, obviously. I fell asleep in the middle of the stream a few hours ago. Did another one get started? Yeah. No, I guess I'm not getting yours, huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, I have not been streaming for six hours. As much fun as that would be. Yay! Someday, maybe. I'm still, I'm still just pleased as punch I actually beat dead cells. Like, I actually beat the hand. Cool. Ah, timed. Oh god. Shop up here, lots of good stuff to buy. Oh lord. Oh lord, I killed myself. I panicked and killed myself. Kind of did, but kind of didn't, because I was doing streamer mode. <laughs> Please punch me, don't shit your pants. I mean, that was an accomplishment too, really. Thunder Sword Sniper. This is sniper magic. I want sniper magic. Also, I want to not die. Sniper! 
Oh! Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool, actually. Oops. That's what I get for trying to interact with chat. A little gap only or smaller because then maybe you can get through. Hmm. That is a cat on a broomstick. Checkapointo! Sign is a checkpoint. If you die anywhere later, you'll restart from back here. May your may your progress be steady. Won't save you from game over. <clears throat> All right, Obsol, have a good one, buddy. It was great to see you. Uh, we'll be back on Friday. Uh, Friday afternoon, we'll be doing a bunch of kitschy uh, indie sims. We'll be hunting morals. We'll be making pottery, and we'll be designing little teeny tiny cities, and maybe some other stuff too. And then Friday night, we're going to be doing visual novels. We'll be doing digital, a love story, and save the date. Oh boy. Imagine if power is a gun. <laughs> oh, nice, Fury Fighter. That'll be great. Whoop. Brought a bow to a gunfight. Oh, damn, Fury Fighter. Hate to hear that. The moment I thought you were doing the Christine Love VN. That's. Digital Love Story is her, right? In any event, it should be a good time. Uh, oh god! Oh. Gimme that! Woo! Okay. Wait, I don't actually want to use this right now. Thunder! God damn it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. That one is fun, but will definitely get me super killed. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Okay. Oh! What you got? Fire Sword, Jellied Yam, and Midpoint. No thanks. Oh man, Smokey. Hate to hear that. Since there's something different about this door, ready yourself. Use whatever magic you find most useful. Can I have another gun? I guess we'll buy fire, since Thunder doesn't... Thunder doesn't seem to be doing anything. There we go. Okay, you know what? Fine. Great. No, <laughs> you get Jelly DM. Hey, you. Hi! You there, hall monitor girl. Hold on a second. Why are you here, Asuka? <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Now that we meet at last, shall we play catch? No, I'd rather not do that. Not gonna fly, huh? Magic and studying are important and all. You can't can't you fit in a good workout? Do you know what's going on here? It seems like a big deal. Yeah, sure does seem that way, but we can talk after some sports. Exercise club students have been at school since early in the morning. So being their leader, Asuka, you should know something, right? If anyone would, it'd have to be you. You're a cop. <laughs> Brilliant, Tobari. You're all too clever. Right, I'll give you the good warm-up. I'd like to hurry, but I suppose I can entertain you. What? You're not my opponent? Hey! Bye, we can talk details later. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Why wasn't this working earlier? Die. 
Wait, this is awesome. Why wasn't it doing anything earlier? Owned. <laughs> All hall monitors are bastards. Check a point, though. Okay, Thunder's pretty sweet. I like it. <coughs> yeah, do, do, do. I think I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna finish World One. At least. I see. Oh god. See, that's what I'm talking about. The momentum makes any kind of precision platforming really tricky here. It's a ladder. Oh god. Ha! Ah. God. Mm. Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Yeah, I think I could actually, like I've been doing. I wonder if it's possible to box yourself in with, um, with ice blocks. Like, if there's gonna be tight levels later that... where you can get yourself trapped. <laughs> Auto-scrolling. Also, I don't... I don't really understand what the music went. Oh, the ice, block ice blocks disappear after a while. Holy mother. Suck it, dog. <laughs> Although, I do kind of like, like the concept of just like a dippy little puppy flying around flapping his ears. Yeah, this got weird. Come up. Are we there? Are we in? Do we make it? Yes. <laughs> Unicorn hamster on a broom. Well, yeah. What do you think I'm monitoring the halls for? Those things are a nuisance. Wait, was there, like, more level after this? If I had jumped over the goal somehow? What's this? Oh no, they come out of there. That's no good. Oh shit! I suppose bounce off their heads. Or I can just do that. <laughs> Suck it, pigeon. Thunder is cool, it just doesn't come out very fast, is all. <clears throat> there we go. Bullseye! Oh lord. Tea, jellied yam, one up, midpoint. No. Hey. 
<clears throat> hey, it's you again. Nice stuff, Tobar. You handled my warm-up nicely. I wouldn't expect any less. All right, Asuka. Now, can you tell me what's going on? Which you know at least? Guess I'd better, huh? Gotta set a good example here. Things are getting weird, right? Weird enough that it'll be dangerous for you to go any further, Tobari. So being the caring individual I am, I'm going to ask you to stay out of it. Okie dokie? Yes? Thank you. You know wouldn't happen to have put you up to this? She's been acting strange, you know. Uh, Hina, you say? Hina's a good kid. Class president and all. She's always been a hard worker. Yes, Hina does work hard. And... Of course, you're great too, Tobari. With you two, the school's peaceful. You make a good team. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. And... I look forward to getting the car loose. <laughs> Why are you trying to stall me? How quickly the exercise club arrived this morning. Everything you've been doing, it's obviously all related to this incident. You didn't have to try and obfuscate it. Wow. <laughs> uh, what did I tell you, Hina? I didn't stand a chance of topping Tobari to talk off. I do appreciate how you're always honest, Asuka. Oh, so I did, per did I persuade you? Success! Advantage back to Asuka! Trying to stop me here, then Hina has to be headed past the hill. I think I'll be going now. <laughs> Whoops, persuasion is a no. Ah, oh, well, what are you gonna do? Let's play this fair and square. Neglecting how you ran off last time. This one's mandatory too, isn't it? By my authority as your senior, it is. Like I, wow, this just keeps going. Going. Like I said, there was a warm up back there. If I'd gone full force, you might have gotten hurt. Sorry, Tobari, but I've got reasons for stuff too, yeah? Very well, I suppose. After all, I don't dislike sports, and you are my senior. Yeah, da! Are these characters or something? I'm wondering that myself. Let's get to it, but as an athlete, I can't be beat. I'll manage with my magic. Come on. She's shooting magical basketballs at me. Pop, pop. Oh god, oh Jesus. It's supposed to be tennis balls. Like, oh god, she has two forms. Oh, 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 you can knock him back. Oh wow. All right, that's pretty sweet. What are you doing? What are you doing? Volleyballs! How did you know my weakness? Wow, lightning just owned her. I really like the music, it reminds me of something good. Sorry, Hina, she beat me, but not bad at stalling, right? It's fun, and that's what matters to me. Yep, that's why sports rock. The sweat building, the fellowship pouring. Got those mixed up, As Asuka. At any rate, I'm glad you had fun. Sure she wasn't giving it her all. No match for magical genius, though. Guess I better keep at it. Well, been, had I been playing old sports, I know I'd never be able to beat you. What's going on? Didn't get too many of the juicy details. Something huge for sure. It's nighttime up ahead, you see. And only a matter of time before it's night here, too. It's no fun playing in the dark, so I'm hoping it doesn't last long. It would be inconvenient. What does it take to surprise Asuka? I guess we see the world very differently. I'm sure you know, but these weird rabbits are cropping up. Better watch out for them. I've seen many types, so if I can't stop you, I can warn you. Maybe you can prefer a rail. Be careful, right? See you later. Great. Okay, bye. <clears throat> What's the next world? Stargaze Hill. Okay. I think we can stop here. Maybe I can pause button, open menu, menu, want menu. There we go. I hit a spacebar. Okay, this is cute. I like this. Very, very simple. Handles really strangely, I gotta say. But, um, yeah. Let's... 
Well, man, we worked through most of this list already. Let's just keep on rolling. Um, we're going to do Potata next. I got to say, I really, I really enjoy doing variety nights. I really enjoy just like checking something out and seeing what it has to offer, good and bad, and then just rolling on to something else. I mean, of course, it's, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun getting through a game. It's fun, like, beating a game. Saying you've completed something. But it's also fun, like, going through lots of indie games. And just seeing all kinds of weird, wild stuff. Anyway, I got this one from the developers last month. Dandara? Dandara is cool. I like Dandara. It's, it's, it's more puzzly than I was expecting. Um, I was, I was expecting it to be a little more action oriented and the action that there is is pretty cool. Um, yeah, the, bu the puzzles actually seem pretty involved. So anyway, this came out like pretty recently, I think in December, maybe. It looks cute. We're doing lots of cute stuff tonight. Oh, there you are. The art, the art for this one seemed really cool too. Okay, now this one's really quiet. We do. It's, it's Russian, I think. Or no, what is that? Greek. And a crash. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? As Russian, okay. Here we go. So many secrets in this world. So many places to visit. Ancient treasures. Unknown creatures. What else we might find? I want an adventure so much. Now I'm sitting near a huge waterfall. Water droplets on my face. Pleasant breeze in the air. Suddenly escaped from Tarkov. Tata, please come here. And now I'm in the depths of the forest. Dot, dot. Everything is so huge. Dot, dot, dot. So alive. Can berries even get this big? You can make so many pies with it. Ta -ta -ta! What's taking so long? I know this is insanely quiet. I'll try to adjust it again. A bit further lies this gloomy fairy glade. I bet this old log is someone's home. That's it, young lady. Don't complain if this berry pie is gone. Wow, that was some dream. Again, Mom wakes me up at the best part. Fox doesn't look well. Maybe he got sick? I gotta ask Mom. She will get him better. Squeak, snort. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll go fetch a healing potion real quick. Oh, this is pretty. Hang on. Yeah, reset the audio for some reason. It's still really quiet, isn't it? Let's try that. She seems nice. <clears throat> Mom, mama, mom! 
keep stirring the cauldron full of boiling steaming brew. Patata, finally! Gosh, calling you for ages, you sleepyhead. Stop shouting that loud, lest all the village come check on you. Oh, well, buttercup root, burdock leaves, stir clockwise three times. <laughs> Deep in thoughts, like trying to find that one book from a bookshelf in her head. Um, let's see. Wow, dialogue. The totem fox isn't feeling well. I'm worried. You say potato, I say patata. Let's call the whole thing off. What happened? Did he catch a cold? Sick? Ate something wrong? Oh my, I need to make a special healing brew. So, spruce needles, agrimony flowers, bardock root. Oh, well, well. Look like we're missing a few ingredients. Dear, could I trouble you with a bit of work? There's a list of missing... Oh, where's the list? Where could it be? Oh, did I use this paper as a bookmark in the spellbook again? Wow, she's a mess. I can answer unwillingly or hopeful. Super cute. I'll think of something cynical to say for consistency. Um... Hey, great, so I wait here while you're getting the book. Oh, look at Patata's face. She's like, oh, god damn it. As serious as possible, since you shouldn't joke with mom when it comes to potions. Potato, you know I can't leave the cauldron. What if there will be more bubbles surfacing than needed in the recipe? Bring me the book and I'll give you the list of ingredients for the healing brew. Come on, the attic is not that far away, just above your room. All right. Wee, wee. Mm. Seems like, seems like you, okay, hang on. Okay, yeah, you can't do that. You can jump from the ground up on a thing. Okay, to inventory, use item. Look. So I wonder if this is kind of like a side-scrolling adventure game. I suppose we'll find out. Here's the book. Thank you, my dear. Here's the recipe. Now I need goosegrass leaves. A couple should be enough. I'll begin the preparation right now. All right. This reminds me a bit of Cat Maze. Which I, god damn it. This reminds me a bit of Cat Maze, which I reviewed last year. Uh, that was another side-scrolling kind of adventure game where you played uh, you played a, a little witch who's part of a uh, like Slavic myth. Something missing, eh? Fireflies flew away to cover. It means the strong wind is coming soon. Don't forget to pin the box of papers of the post. Our letters and notes will scatter on the forest. Nina. Nina. Oh my god, these are adorable. Look at this little guy. Good lord. The giant ass chest. I've never seen this portal here before. <laughs> this walks right the hell into it. Child, what is wrong with you? Uh. <laughs> I really like these guys. A cute firefly. Hey, come back. Hey, come back. Come back. Cute firefly. Let's kill it. What happened? Did something happen with the forest? I may have caused some trouble again. Oh, patata, you little rapscallion. Hold A to jump farther. Can I get up there? I guess the real patata starts here. Boing. Firefly-based locomotion, very cool. Green thingies, blue thingies. Always some thingies to collect. Never low on thingies. I guess I don't need that.
Our direction strikes is cute, but a bit cluttered. It is kind of busy. Like, there's a lot going on here, so... It's Luna! Before asking for help, you could try solving the riddle, riddle by yourself. First, turn on the light. <laughs> Hurry up. No, you. Oh, shoot. Aw. Oh man, they make you do the whole area over again. Dang. Shoot. Oh, Kiwi. Still, though, like, personal preference, I would rather a game look like this than the one we were just playing, Tobari. How do I turn the light? <laughs> that guy's cute. To save again, hold B. Oh, so I guess you have to pay your gems to activate... Yeah, okay. Brighter colors instead of pastels, maybe. What the hell is this? Beep. Whoop. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh god, no. Gong! <laughs> Thank god that one was easy. Alright, start thinking about what we're gonna play next. <laughs> <laughs> Lights out the 2000s equivalent of a sliding puzzle. Oh, God. Seriously. I got... Through Curator Connect, I got some game that was just that puzzle. It was just... Oh, I have to... Yeah. <clears throat> and I was like... I was like, it's... It's lights out. Like, it's something that you have to do as part of better games to just pad out the runtime. Like, go play it there instead of playing an entire game devoted to it. Because, yeah, big, big ass, no thank you on that. Okay. 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 Can okay, devs use better puzzles at least, like Nonogram? I don't know. Effort. Uh, is there another platform coming? Yes. I like the music. Some of zero reaction being hurt, that's kind of off. Yeah. As good as this looks, there are definitely things about this that are off. That just don't feel right. Unfortunate, too, because I really like the way it looks. Get on with my life. <clears throat> mm, I want 
whatever that blue thing is up there. I ain't getting it that way. Oh lord. Ow. Oh, she goes a little. Ooh. I I have to assume those are healing items. They might not be. I can't believe that thing didn't hit me. Ow. Ow. Oh, poor Tata. Uh. Dewberry Dreamberry Key. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we'll go this way. What is this? Dark Mage shouldn't be allowed to stay in the village. He ruins the aura of this place. The evil is lurking in his wake. We need to throw him out. Let's gather and do this. It's too dangerous to stay near someone who can instantly destroy all of us with his magic. It's like living near a ticking bomb. Nobody knows what he's thinking. Leave your signature here. If we get ten signatures, we'll raise the question on the village council. <laughs> Sign the petition to make the Dark Lord move out. Oh, that was not right. Neither was that. Racist against Dark Mage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. It actually, when you hit that checkpoint, it snapshots you. So it didn't keep any of the stuff I did. God, I just, I just want to move on. I just want to not be here. Oh, fucking. Oh, my God. What? I guess I need the. I guess I gotta get the thing. Did you shitty plant shitty fake fruit? I'm gonna assume it's like the specialist, the most special item I've gotten so far. Okay, uh. Yeah, it made, it made me go to sleep. Love to use the soundtrack when modding Skyrim. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? The big nut up there. I'm really wondering how long this level is now. No, I already went up there. Oh, I bet I need to, um, let's see. Seed. There we go. So I wonder what the red one was for. I'm, I must have missed the use of the red one. Unless unless you need it right at the end of the stage. And they want to be huge jerks to you. That's a diamond. Nice of them to put those little skull signs to signify, like, bottomless pits, so you don't just go flying off. Do you stalk me, Luna? Mind my own business. Could it be those stinky spores you're doing? I should have known. If something bad happens, Patata also happens to be nearby. I didn't mean to. Ah, Patata's a troublemaker once again. It seems like you expect me to help you deal with this mess? Oh, no, no, no. Well, not for free, at least. I never really liked you, but given that we are acquaintances, I shall assist you for a reasonable price. Bring you magic stones, and I'll help you get further. Uh, can I just go over the crystal? Okay, sure. <laughs> no more dialogue. Eat the damn thing. It's a long ass level. Oh. 
wonder if there's gonna be like a boss or something at the end of it. What is this? That was. Hey. I guess that means there's something back this way. Tip planks. So it's it's a platformer with like point and click adventure sensibilities. That's kind of unexpected. Huh. It's certainly different. Next planks. Planks. The, the, the plank. Uh, uh. Oh wow, that doesn't look very friendly. More th planks. Yeah. Uh, can I go ahead and... Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd feel comfortable doing that, but okay. We're coming back to that. Oh no! Alright, well, I guess this is it then. What are you? We finally meet Curious Girl. I should punish you! Oh, please don't. Oh god, don't punish me! Oh! Fucking what? How dare you? Oh, come on! <laughs> the name of the moon. Nope. Oh god. Oh, seriously? No! That was just rude. Oh my god, stop it. Man. Y'all being dicks about this. Ugh. Okay. This is the first actual thing, like, really? Yeah. Now you're happy, nosy child. You picked my favorite flower and its petals can be anywhere. I've protected your village and forest, but that was the last straw. Go and deal with forest monsters by yourself. And mean to, can I fix it somehow? Just like your father always seeks some reckless adventures, do not cause problems in the first place. Then nothing would need to be fixed. Yeah, that does not bode well for the rest of it. Hey, my father, where is he? Spare me your questions, you boorish potato. You're <laughs> just like your father. Ugh, I'm tired of you. Go to the dark forest. If you manage to get out somehow, I'll allow you, f I'll allow you to fix everything. Bring the flower petals to me, and I might yet restore it with my magic. Oh, wait. Hand over your items. They might be of some use to me. And take this sword. What? 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 It's just a wooden stick. It's a super-duper magical sword, and it'll definitely help you in your adventure. Trust me. You boorish potato. Wow, I've gotten so far. I bet only Mushroom Witch can you to get out of here. All right, well now I can fucking own people. So there's that. Imagine trusting a fairy. I know, right? <laughs> imagine trust, imagine trusting a fairy in Russia. Like, I've read enough Russian folklore to know how that ends up. Did I miss a wizard racist? <laughs> uh, just some, uh... The, uh, the fey people HOA was, uh... Trying to petition out a dark wizard, so you, you know how that goes. 
Baba Yaga will grant you your wishes. Alright, I tell you what. I don't know about you, I've had my fill of Potata for now. I will, um... I'll keep at this one, but yeah. 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 Bay Yaga. Oh my god, okay. Um... I tell you what, y'all. If uh, if it's not if it's not too much, if it's not too much trouble. I think I'm gonna call this one early tonight because I'm pretty tired. It has been about seven hours of streaming. <laughs> sub. It's been about seven hours of streaming. And actually, we can we can discuss a few things before we go. Before we go, we can discuss a few things. So, um, all right, docs. <laughs> Wow, assholes. All right, um, so. Let's pop over the story real quick. So, 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 so. On Friday, Friday, we're going to be starting with this. Morals the Hunt. We're going to be mushroom hunting and taking photographs of things. It'll be great. I'm actually really excited about this, and the, the developers were so nice. I emailed the developers, and I'm like, wow. Your, your site and your channel are so professional. So, like, made me, made me feel really good. Oh, God, there's alligators in this. And wolves. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure what I got myself into. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do Master of Pottery. And, look, I know, I'm just going to say, I know up front, what kinds of things you're going to make me make with this, okay? And I'm just, I'm prepared for that, right? Mia's Mata Energy is strong with those strengths. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping it's going to be that cool. I'm actually really excited about this one. This one actually looks really cool, and it has really good reviews. So, yeah. And I, I like pottery. Like, I only, I only took, like, one or two pottery classes in school, but I really enjoyed it. And also, my... My uh, coffee mug, which I don't use for coffee, I use for hot chocolate, at work, is handmade. My family, oh god, you get to glaze stuff too. Well, of course you get to glaze stuff, but damn, you get to glaze stuff, yo. And you get to put patterns on them? Y'all, this, this is gonna own. This is gonna be so good. Holy shit, look at this. We're gonna make you create stuff to compete with bad <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked for this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we're also going to play... Theotown, this cute little city builder. Shades of SimCity 2000. I really, I've, I've really been wanting to give this a try, so it's like, why not? And we might have one or two other surprises if those don't hold our attention for fun. Cornudo, what's up? I'm just wrapping up. <laughs> We've been, uh, well, no, it's not bad timing because we're, we're talking about future streams. We're talking about what we're going to be doing. This is, I couldn't play Patata anymore. It was starting to, like, it was starting to kill brain cells, I think. We've done, we've, we've done a lot of indie tonight, possibly too much. It was really missing on the market. Archaeology simulators. I agree. I fully agree. There's a lot of simulators that are missing. There are a lot of things that you could simulate that would be a lot of fun. I mean, I don't think there are enough trading sims. Personally, I think we need I think we need a much more diverse market of trading sims because I love trading sims, but it is just not that there's like port, the ancient Port, port Royale games. There is Patrician. Um, there are some new ones like I don't know how many of you are around when I did this one, but Merchant of the Skies is it's in early access right now. But it's been chugging right along. You're, you're an airship merchant. You, you chug your little pixel art airship around to different floating islands and buy goods and explore ruins and stuff. And it's really cool. I like this game a lot. We're going to play this again. I'm going to play this again when it comes out of early access, I think, if not sooner. Paycheck Administration Simulator. Yeah, that'd be cool. Still want to see a trading sim that focuses more on exploring to find goods. That would be cool, Cornudo. That would be very cool. I think I really just the the genre needs to expand and oh yeah there's a giant carrot in this too legit I unironically think sometime in the future doing your taxes simulator will show up yeah probably 
Yeah, I think I think it's just a very over overlooked genre. It's probably it's probably hard to get right. It's probably hard to get that balance of buying low and selling high right without making it too easy or just too annoying. And then I, I, I guess most studios would just assume that it's not that engaging for people. So tax evasion simulator. Mildly interested in thief simulator. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna do that. Um Friday night. We're going to do visual novels. We're going to be doing um, Digital, Love Story, and Save the Date, which I think should fill the entire evening. I'm not sure we can even finish both of them. Tingle's Golden Rupee Land. I've not. No, I have not played that. I think that'd be fun. Some of the essay forums mentioned they got a mission to just break into a house and destroy someone's toilet. Oh, that's great. Okay. So that's Friday. Saturday. Saturday, at long last, we're going to start El Shaddai, which I'm very excited about. It's going to be my first PS3 game ever. I never had a PS3 until I bought this thing off eBay. Um, let's see. It sounds like Monday, Monday we're going to start Echo. That's what it seems like. Uh, there's a chance I, may, I might change my mind and do more platformers. But nothing tonight really seemed to strike enough of a chord to bother doing a full playthrough of. Oh, God, y'all. I originally, I had on the schedule that we were going to do a, we were going to spend one night doing a full playthrough of Poncho. And I am so glad I didn't go through with that. Because <laughs> it would have been just like tonight. I would have gotten like 15 minutes into it and I would have been like, mm, mm, no, no. So I'm really glad, like, even Dandara, like, Dandara strikes me as good, but I don't know if it's, like, full playthrough good, honestly. So. Dandara is interesting. It's, it's more puzzly than I was expecting. So. Yeah, Tobari is cool. Yeah, I was, I was chugging along fine in Tobari. The controls took some getting used to, but that went okay, so. Anyway, all the games you saw tonight are going to end up getting reviews. Um, so is that the next Wednesday? Next Wednesday is kind of the question because we've gone through all of these. I didn't do decks. I have decks on here. I might still want to stream that at some point. Um, as far as the list goes, let's see how many more. We only have two more Wednesdays left in February. So next week. I think next week we need to devote it to something like Dark Devotion or Salt and Sanctuary or Tower Hunter or Usurper. And I'm wondering what you guys think about that. Because if I'm going to do one, if I'm going to do another big game, like another game that, that's got some serious exploration and progression to do, I need, I need to get started on it next week at the latest salt and sanctuary magic run to try to get your hands on anarchy reigns what is that dex is all right dex is solid i might just do dex off stream we'll see <clears throat> so i tell you what we'll discuss that let's let's discuss this in uh in discord sometime i'll throw it up into in the feedback channel uh, maybe this weekend, and we can talk about what you guys want to do for the for the next to last platform every stream. But yeah, all right, cool. That pretty much covers it. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go to bed early tonight because you know it's it's surprising streaming <laughs> streaming for six, seven, eight hours a day, kind of exhausting. <laughs> who who would have thought really? Anyway, um, let's see if anybody else is streaming right now. I can throw you guys over. Uh, Celerity is streaming tonight. Oh, really? Well, sure, let's go over there. I, I need to stream Tome sometime. 
I they gave me the DLC for that game, and I I dropped the ball on that and haven't gotten around to doing that. So I think maybe in March we might end up doing a Tome streams stream. I know, right? It's crazy, isn't it? Some of these developers is just no oh, idea. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll head over there. I like to tell me. All right. So. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming out tonight. It's a pleasure to see you. Um, hopefully, I will see you on Friday for a bunch of weird little simulators. Until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.